Hey everybody, Todd Crane here with 85 Strat. I wanted to go over today player pictures, how to make them work within your game, how to save them, where to put them, all that fun stuff, and how to use two pictures of the same player for different seasons. For example, if you want to use a 1977 Reggie Jackson picture which shows him with the New York Yankees, how to save that so he shows up in this 1977 Yankee versus if he's on an 85 Angels in his 85 Angels picks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go out to a website called Brian's Ballparks. Now this is about where I've gotten about 98% of my player pictures. It's where I've gotten the alias file in order to change things up and switch some things around. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go out to the player picks and download any one of these will do. Uh, so for today's examples we're going to use this 2015 one. So you're going to click that, it's going to start downloading, and then you're going to go find it in your downloads folder. So here it is, right here is 2015 one, and you're going to see these three things here. So these are going to go into the, and so you're going to grab these three, and then you're going to go down to your C drive, and you're going to find your Stratomatic folder. So for mine, it's going to be this SOM 2016. I'm going to open that up, and then I'm going to go down to Players. And this is where I'm going to drop those three folders. So the key one is that alias, and that's how you're going to save them. So once you get them into here, there's all your player pictures. And it should work with inside your game. You may have to close the game and then open it back up so that it refreshes and all your player picks show up. So once you do that, then we'll go into how to get multiple pictures. So for today's example, we're going to use Reggie Jackson as an example. So if you want to go out and get a Reggie Jackson picture, this is another place where I've gotten a lot of my pictures, is the trading card database. There's the website right there. So basically what this website does, it's really cool, is you can search for anybody. So again, we'll search for Reggie, even though I already have it open. I'll show you kind of how this works. So you can type in Reggie Jackson. I've already searched for him multiple times. So I'm just going to click this, and I'm going to hit search. And then it's going to pull up all these really nice things. And then it's going to find all this stuff. Anybody named Reggie or anything like that, it'll pull them up. So I'm going to click on the Reggie Jackson one. So then it's going to pull them up. It's going to give a little snippet about him. And then you can go and find cards for him. So for me, I want 1970, his 1977 baseball card. So I'm going to go for the season. So I'm going to go to 1978. I'm going to open it up. And you're going to see all this really cool stuff as far as Reggie Jackson is concerned. For baseball cards some of them won't be there most of them will uh, the ones I try to find the best one and usually the best ones are the OP cheese or the tops Tiffany I don't know what tops Tiffany is but you can find them they're usually in a, almost like a high def type picture so I'm going to click on the Reggie Jackson card and it's gonna pull this up here and then I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna save this into here so it's going to open up this. I'm going to save it into the batters, and I'm going to name it Reggie underscore Jackson underscore 77. And I'm going to hit save. I already have one in there, but I'm going to overwrite it. So you can just go ahead and click yes. So then what you're going to want to do, so now you got two pictures of Reggie Jackson. If you go out into your player's pictures for batters, and you can search Reggie, it'll show right off the bat, I have a Reggie Jackson labeled 77, and I have a Reggie Jackson labeled 85. Now here's where it gets a little tricky, but the, the alias file literally tells you how to do it. And you can see that uh, Brian uh, from Brian Ballparks puts in, you know, you got Reggie Sanders with multiple teams, and this Reggie William, Reggie Taylor. And here's some, some really cool ones. So here's multiple photos of Reggie Jackson in, in an A's uniform. So I mean, really, really cool stuff. Brian did a great job on this. Um, I just really like baseball cards, so those are what I'm going to use. So then you're going to go out of this, and you're going to go back, and you're going to find that alias file. So you're going to go down to the alias file. You're going to open this up, and you can see all these names that are in here. So you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom so that you can enter the name of what you need. 
So for Reggie Jackson, obviously P's are for pitcher, B is for batter. So for Reggie, you're going to go B, you're going to type his name, and then in comma. Now, no spaces after these commas. That's really important. So you're going to go 1977. He's with the Yankees, so NYA, and then you're going to type his name again. Sorry, I have a big problem of it capitalizing that second letter for some reason. And then you're just going to type 77. So it's got to look like that, no spaces. You can see right here, I noticed the space. Proofread this before you save it, because if you have a space in there, Outside of that one after, like right here, this is the only spot in between that should have a space. Everything else should be flush with it. If you have any other way, it, it's not going to save it for you. So you don't need a comma there after that. So then what you're going to do is you're going to exit out of this. Yes, you're going to save it. So now you have both of those pictures in there. So you can minimize all this. Go to your game. So 1985, let's go to California and look at Reggie Jackson. So there's this picture down here. You can see it there. Now let's go to 1977. So there's my 1977. You go to New York. You click Reggie Jackson. And there it is. Down there in the lower corner, you can see that now he's got a picture for each one. So anytime that you play the 1977 Yankees, you could play the 1977 Yankees against the 85 Angels and Reggie Jackson for both teams, and you'll have a different card. So that's how you do that. Really simple process. I highly recommend going out to Brian's Ballparks, getting that alias file. Um, really works well. You can add all of your other pictures into it, change them up however you want. Um, even the pictures in there, if you want to leave those the same, because I the one I downloaded was all batters, and it will throw them all in there. You just slap them in there, and you can change it all up however you want. That alias file is key, though. I cannot trust that enough. Use the alias file. That's what's going to be able to make, give you the multiple card, different cards for different seasons. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it, subscribe if you have any other questions on how to do this. Any future videos that you would like to see, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'll put a link to Brian's Ballparks in the description and to the trading card database in the description. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.